Welcome to Basic Chemistry 1 and the topic of this video is Gram Atomic Mass and Mole. First of all, we will have a definition of Gram Atomic Mass. The relative atomic mass of an element expressed in grams is called Gram Atomic Mass. This is also known as one gram atom or simply the gram atom of that element. Hence, we can say that one gram atom or gram atom of an element is its relative atomic mass, mass expressed in grams. Uh, let us have a look at the examples of gram atomic mass. We know that the relative atomic mass, we pre, one of our pre previous videos we have discussed that the relative atomic mass of hydrogen atom or hydrogen element is 1.008 amu. Here we are taking gram atomic mass that is simply the same relative atomic mass of hydrogen in grams. Uh, so, the gram atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.008 gram or 1 gram atom of hydrogen is 1.008 gram. Similarly, the 1 gram atom of oxygen is 15.998 gram, that of the carbon is 12.013 gram and that of chlorine is 35.5 gram. So, these are the examples to make clear what a gram atomic mass is and it is also known as 1 gram atom of an element. It does not mean that 1 atom of hydrogen is 1.008 gram, but this term the gram atom or 1 gram atom is also used for gram atomic mass of an element. Similarly, uh, in this the second part of this video is uh, mole that is we are going to discuss the gram atomic mass and mole their relevance. One gram atom of an element is also called one mole of that element. So, how this is uh, known uh, one mole? Uh, so, remember that previously we have studied that relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 amu, relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16 amu or 15.98 for 98 uh, amu, that of the carbon is 12 amu. So, these are the masses of these are the masses of uh, one atom of each element that is 1 amu hydrogen means 1 atom of hydrogen, 16 amu of oxygen means 16 uh, 1 atom of oxygen. Similarly, 12 amu means 1 atom of carbon. Now, the gram atomic mass are 1 gram atom of an element and its relative atomic mass they are numerically equal. Here you can see 1, 1, 1 for hydrogen, 1 amu and 1 gram. The difference in is in their units. So, when the masses are increased in the same ratio, that is the ratio is same. So, the number of atom will also increase in the same ratio and it has been determined that the when when we express or take the element in grams instead of uh, AMUs that is the mass uh, the numerically if the uh, the mass of if numerically the mass of an element is equal to the relative atomic mass the difference is in unit. For example, we are taking 1 gram hydrogen atoms we are not taking 1 AMU. So, uh, and similarly, we are taking 16 grams of oxygen, we are not taking 16 amu. So, as 1 amu and 16, 1 amu hydrogen and 16 amu oxygen, they have same number of atoms that is 1 atom each. Similarly, 1 gram oxygen and 16 gram oxygen, they must have same number of atoms and same is the story for all other elements that we take if we take the uh, and the, their masses in grams which are numerically equal to the relative atomic masses. So, the different elements will have different masses, but they will have same number of atoms and the same this number of atom is 16.023 uh, 16 into 10 raised to power 23 and this number is known as actually one mole. So, uh, I hope you will understand that uh, how we uh, uh, how we take gram atomic mass equal to one mole and or how it is said that gram atomic mass are simple one gram simply one gram atom of an element is equal to one mole. So, this is this uh, particular number 6.023 into 10 raise to power 23 which is, which is also known as uh, Avogadro's number. Uh, so, th that is uh, that is how gram atomic mass are one gram atom of an element is also equal to one mole of that element. That is if you want to if you are uh, asked for example, somebody asked you to take 1 mole 
hydrogen atom. So, we will definitely have to take 1 gram hydrogen atoms. Here, we are not talking about hydrogen molecules, they are, uh, the 1 mole hydrogen molecules will have definitely a different mass, we will discuss this in another video. Similarly, if you are asked to take 1 mole oxygen atoms, so you will take 16 grams of oxygen with the help of analytical balance or electrical balance. So, I hope you have understand and you have enjoyed this video which discussed the gram atomic mass and mole and the, the relationship between the gram atomic mass and mole. Uh, on mole we will definitely have another video in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more updates. And if you have, you have any suggestion or any question I will be waiting. Please put them in the comments below. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.